Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Gabby Giddy, and this week I'm going to be talking about my Osprey Farpoint 55 travel backpack. So over the last three years that I've had this backpack, a lot of people have asked if I liked it, if I'd recommend it to them, and what they should take traveling. So I thought I'd do a quick review on it and kind of go over that. So to begin, the one really neat thing about this backpack is that it's actually two backpacks. So you have the main 40 liter, and then you have a day pack, which is 15 liters, and together they make the 55 liter backpack. So it actually connects through a zipper on the side here to the front bit. I haven't had mine together since I bought it. I prefer them separate, so I didn't attach it today, but it's pretty easy to do so. You just have to unclip here, and there is a zipper at the front that you can zip the smaller backpack into. So I'll start with the small backpack. One really great thing about this is that it is so compact. I use it around town all the time. Even when I'm not traveling, it fits really well. I have a one liter Nalgene that I always carry with me. It fits perfectly in here. They also have front uh, water bottle holders. I don't find these fit my one liter Nalgene, so I normally just put garbage or things I need easy access to, anything that needs to be quickly in and out. There's also this small pocket at the front here, and it fits quite a lot of things. I don't really know. I have a bunch of random stuff in here right now. When I am traveling though, I can easily fit two power banks, my um, sunglasses, anything really that needs to be in and out quick. So when you open it up, the zippers are really smooth and they don't get caught very easily. I just have a pillow in here right now. So when you open it up, it's pretty roomy. There is a laptop spot in the back. And so when I was traveling in Southeast Asia and Australia, I had my MacBook Air, which is a 13 inch laptop and it fit perfectly here. I also was carrying my Kobo, which I put in this front pocket before that and it is padded it is padded on the back side more so than the front but i never had any issues with that at all it fits quite a lot of things it was a perfect day pack perfect size i take it in the streets and i go hiking with it and anything i needed would fit in this backpack so another great thing with the osprey backpacks is the zippers so they have two little clasps where you can put a little lock on so i just have these travel locks that are always on both of my backpacks and they easily slip in so when I am sightseeing, I just slip it on and I don't have to worry about anybody pickpocketing my backpack. I really like that aspect about it. So this is kind of how it fits on. It's pretty comfortable, not too big, but it does fit quite a lot. The other thing that I really quite like, and I'll show this later on, is that at the top here they have these little buckles so you can attach this to the main pack. So yeah, one of the best things about this backpack is that it comes with this little day pack and they work really well together and I'd highly recommend it. And it's a very comfortable backpack even when you're not traveling. So moving on to the big guy. So mine has kind of a lot of patches on it. Some things that I really like this is that it's a super comfortable suspension system. So the hip belt is very comfortable along with the shoulder straps. Um, it's fully adjustable. So along the hips it's adjustable as well as the sternum strap and this shoulder straps at the top to tighten it and whatnot. And something that I really found useful was when you are in transit, this bottom piece here actually comes out and you can zip it around. So this closes up pretty easily. So. So just like this, it's closed up and it's more like a duffel bag. So I always do this when I'm flying so my straps don't get caught in the conveyor belt at the airport and I haven't had any issues with it. It is pretty dirty from all my travels, but again, super durable. There are a bit of nicks and a little bit of scrapes on my backpack. I have had it for three years and I've taken it on quite a few trips, but it's pretty fantastic and I really like this aspect. I have known some people to have their straps being ripped and their backpack just looking not that great afterwards when you're flying so that is a really great feature and when you're done with this so when you get off the plane and you get your bag at baggage check you can easily take it and then just fold it up and then it stuffs nicely in the bottom and then there's a piece of velcro here too that can just kind of stick it there so it's never in the way moving on to some of the handles they're really easy to carry and pretty sturdy i'm always yanking on my backpack i'm really not that careful with it and they're holding up really well so moving on when you open it um so i always have mine like i said separate so i just do these buckles up here when you open it it opens like a suitcase which i absolutely adore so again i just have some pillows to fill it up 
So when I am traveling, I travel with packing cubes uh, just because it is so open. So I really love these packing cubes. Everything folds down really easily with them and they have the compression one so you can tighten it up more. Okay, so this is the inside of the backpack. It's just um, a pretty big empty abyss here. Um, but what I really like is this front mesh part. So all this, I put like my intimates and bathing suits and things like that. I kind of dedicate this pocket to that. One thing that is nice about that is that it kind of gives an extra layer of protection. So from this um, outside bit, when you have like socks and underwear and whatever, it kind of gives the rest of your bag protection too. So once you open it up, they have just like a typical suitcase and these clips that you can, once everything's secured, you can put them on and tighten them up and really compact your bag a lot easier. So I've taken this on a number of trips through Europe, Australia, Southeast Asia, Mexico, and it's been fantastic. It fits on just enough. I've had it through the winter as well as the summer. There's always enough room for everything. I really do like that it is a front opening backpack rather than a top loading. I have had one of those before and it was very inconvenient and things get really messy. Also when everything is packed and orderly and it's all strapped in, it's really easy to pull out exactly what you need and there's really no issue with that at all. Again, the material is super durable. I am pretty rough on all my equipment and it's held up really well. I've also sewn in so many patches and this hasn't really had any effect on the waterproofing of it. It isn't a waterproof bag, but I find it's pretty water resistant. If you are worried about that, I'd just get a ring cover. Another thing, if you are doing some camping, it isn't a camping backpack, but I would definitely take it on one. It has bottom straps here where you can slip in a sleeping bag or sleeping pack anything like that so that's really accessible there so some negatives about this bag is that there isn't a really great water bottle pouch with the small backpack it is slightly too small so if both bags are full and I'm walking around with my Nalgene I do have a carabiner so I often just hook it here and let it hang except when you are walking it does kind of bounce a little bit so if I can fit it inside the bag that's ideal but yeah these water bottle pouches are not ideal they're very small it would probably be best for like a swell or a skinnier water bottle the other thing is that there's no external pockets really so if you want to quickly store something there isn't anything and I've noticed on other Osprey bags that on their hip belt they do have pockets on some of them this one has no pockets and although it is very comfortable it doesn't have anything that you can like put change in and a lot of people have wondered if you can take it as a carry-on and the answer really is it depends so when I was backpacking Europe I was able to take it on all my Ryanair flights this was in 2018 the way it worked then was that you could take it to the gate and bring it through security both bags and once you got onto the flight they would take your main bag and they would stow it away in their oversized luggage compartment and then you just get it at the carousel after so that worked well there when I was in Asia I didn't really fit the carry-on requirements but it is a really fantastic bag so I'm maybe just getting like the far point 40 and getting a smaller size would be my recommendation for that another drawback it is a pretty expensive bag I think it came to around $250 it is really worth it though in my opinion and I've had a lot of wear out of it and I'm very rough I throw things everywhere and it hasn't failed me yet so now I'm just gonna put on the backpack and kind to show you guys kind of what it looks like on I am around 5 7 and I got the medium large this is the true 55 liters but if you get the small medium it is 53 liters I definitely could have gone with the small medium really not sure why I didn't I think they just didn't have it in stock when I was um, picking out a backpack at the time another thing is at the time when I bought this I don't think the far view was out at my local outdoor store so I didn't buy that either but I have now recommended to a few of my friends that are looking for backpacks the female version of it it's the exact same it's just more shaped for women's contours but again I found this one very comfortable so if you are a female looking for it I really recommend it anyways okay so this is how the backpack looks like on so it's very easy to get on compared to other backpacks. I find the space of it is perfect because you can't overpack it too much. It was really easy to run for buses and get where you're going with this backpack on and it was never really uncomfortable. So this is just how I throw it on. So this is kind of how it looks uh, without it being done up. It's pretty comfortable. So the hip straps, how I do this is I just let them all the way out to begin. Kind of just do them up. And then there's two side straps. So I pull those at the same time to tighten the hip band, just like that. And then the front piece here also does them up. So this is kind of what the backpack looks like on. <laughs> 
This backpack is very comfortable and easy to get around with. Uh, the sternum strap can easily be tightened or loosened. Same with the hip straps. Um, and then also you can tighten the shoulder straps so that your backpack is closer to your head. So moving on to this piece, I know when you are traveling with two backpacks that aren't the same, you often do the method where you just have your backpack over you like that. Works, but it's not ideal in my opinion. So this is where this backpack comes in handy. So they have these, again, two little buckles here. On your main pack, there again is two little buckles that easily snap in. So hands-free, your backpack is just hanging out. Um, it's very comfortable. One thing is, is that it does like bounce a little bit, so it does kind of do that. But again, I found this was the best part of it. It's really easy to walk around cities, get from hostel to hostel, whatever you're doing. Then you are also hands-free, so you can GPS, whatever, use your phone, that's really easy. So often I'll just like throw my phone in the front here. Love that everything can be locked as well. It's also really great if you are like in a market with your entire load with you. You can just easily like access money and whatever. It's super great. I also liked having my laptop and everything close to me. So I really like the setup of this backpack. I find the hip strap here really takes the weight off um, my shoulders and it's I'm never really that uncomfortable with this backpack on. I have used other backpacks that really left me in pain, but this one's really great. So that's pretty much it for this Osprey Farpoint 55 backpack review. I think it's a fantastic backpack. I've had a few friends already go out and buy it and it's just so comfortable. I've had it now for three years taken it on many many trips and it hasn't failed me yet. I think Osprey also has really great customer service so if something did go wrong, if there was a tear or a zipper broken, I could email them and I'm pretty sure they'll send you a new backpack or replace it or fix it, something along those lines. But overall it's really fantastic, especially for backpacking. So if you are thinking of buying a travel backpack, I would highly recommend this one. It is my absolute favorite and I recommend it to everybody. So I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah, go check it out. Thanks guys.